Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use iSpring Suite to record training videos. Let's begin by opening the iSpring Suite app and heading to the Screencasts tab. From here you can choose to record your screen, create a new project, or open a project you've already created. I'm going to go ahead and record a new screencast. Over here I can choose between recording just my screen, just my webcam, or both at the same time. I'm going to stick with just my screen. Below, I can select from recording an area of my screen, my full screen, or a specific application. It's also possible to choose a preset video size or set my own preferred size. Lastly, you can select your microphone or mute if you prefer. Once you've chosen your preferences, you're ready to record. When you're done recording, just select F10 to stop. When you finish recording, you'll be given an option to add annotations. This will add annotations to all captured keystrokes and mouse clicks. Okay, great. The editor opens up automatically. Down here is your timeline, which has all your clips and callouts. It's easy to edit your screen capture and voiceover in the editor. You can trim the audio and video or adjust where they are in the timeline. What's more, you can change the speed of your clip or freeze and extend any frame. You can also record new audio if you want to do that separately by selecting the record mic from up top. When you're finished, select publish to save your video. You can publish directly to your computer as an MP4 file, send it to iSpring Space, which is an online space for teamwork and collaboration, to iSpring Learn LMS or to your YouTube account. Today I'm going to publish directly to my iSpring Space account. I'll name my video and choose what project I'd like to upload it to. Now I'll select Publish. Once the upload is complete, select Manage Content to be automatically redirected to your iSpring Space account and view your training video. Next, you can share a short link with stakeholders so they can review your video and give feedback. Let's quickly hop back into your project and look at how to publish to your computer. Make sure your video is named properly and select where you would like to save it to your computer. Then go ahead and publish. This will save your video directly to the selected folder. And that's all you need to know to be able to make effective training videos using iSpring.